All right, so we have a lot of devices to fix. I do not know which one I should start with. I have one in front of me here that we got in today. Two thousand sixteen iPad Pro nine point seven A one six seven three model. I had the LCD replaced for a very cheap price recently. TriStar chip is most likely faulty; doesn't charge anymore. Just shows battery low. I guess you get what you pay for, definitely. And this is probably what took uh, probably what took out the TriStar. Um, if the tablet is not charging, it doesn't mean that the problem is the TriStar. He broke my home button, so <laughs> and installed the cheap aftermarket ones, so I don't have Touch ID. I'm unsure if genuine buttons can be renewed or installed. He doesn't know if he stole it. No, the repair shop is not going to steal your button because they cannot do anything with the button. What happened is they probably damaged the button when trying to pry the screen open. The button is a very thin layer of flex cable. It can get damaged very easy. The tech offered extremely cheap service, but was very sloppy. I saw him use crazy glue in addition to 3M adhesive. I took the broken LCD off for you, and I noticed the tech used crazy glue on the aftermarket home button, so I broke that while trying to remove it. So it looks like the customer wants a screen replacement. He wants us to fix his board, and he also needs a home button replacement. I tried to do a hard reset to correct charging issues. Please just make it usable again. We have another email from the customer. Thanks for the swift response. We told the customer that we received this package. I think I'll for sure need LCD assembly, LCD adhesive, aftermarket home button, tri-star chip, and might be... Okay, so the uh, customer knows that we need to change all those stuff for him. We're going to have to let the customer know how much it will be before we proceed with the tablet. So for now, I'm going to proceed with the other repair, which is an iMac motherboard that was mailed in for a damaged LVDS connector. This is, I believe, anywhere from 2009 to 2011 model. So uh, one of those big LVDS connectors. Let's take a look under the microscope and see what's going on. Definitely, it's broken. We still have one of the legs here on the right side. The pad is good. All the pads are actually good, except for this one here. We just have a small, tiny piece left. We're going to try to solder the left side of the connector to this tiny piece that's left. And we do not even know if this is still good or not. Meter in continuity mode. Okay, and we're going to do this. It's good. Without wasting too much time, let's proceed. I removed the broken pins of the pads. Camera was not rolling, so we missed that part, but it's a good thing we did not miss much. I just need to wake off solder. What do you need to wake up for that? Sorry. No, it's okay. Come, 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 come. Boost. Man. One more. <laughs> okay, so let's finish desoldering the pads. Very good. What I did is I added leaded solder on top of unleaded. I mixed them so we can lower the melting temperature of solder on the pads and now we wick solder off the pads and in case you're wondering what braid i'm using you can find it for sale on our shop it's a premium quality braid we buy it in bulk and we package it here in our store one of the best braids i've used and i've used a lot Uh, for all of you who are ordering from international countries, we are having a lot of issues with the post office, USPS. 
We used to charge a flat rate of $10 to ship packages internationally, but now the post office is not even shipping packages out to international countries or not shipping to most international countries. Right now, we are working with UPS and FedEx, but the rates are so much more. Uh, we have it at $45 for international shipping, which is expensive, but we have no other option. And some packages, they cost more than 45. We shipped out a package today that costed us $67 to ship. But we did not ask the customer for more money because we have it flat rate, $45. What can you do? And now we're gonna use a new connector. I'm gonna secure a few pins in the front. Make sure everything is good from this side and yes. So I'm gonna pre-apply solder onto the soldering iron tip and I'm gonna be using the bent chisel tip so we're gonna press that connector down and let's solder this pin here and let's secure pins on the left also So that's step number one, and then we'll make everything look nice and pretty. Okay, so let's go over those pins one more time. I'm gonna clean up, add some flux, and go over them again. Okay, add flux and let's do this one more time. Joints look nice and shiny. Okay, we need more solder on the tip. And just some more flux here. And we're almost done. Okay, and the job is done. Now everything looks yellowish because of the flux. So let's clean up and look at the final result. But before we do so, I just wanna secure the sides. 
right here. That's one side there, and let's see if we can secure the side here. We only have a tiny bit of the pad left. Just like that. Just like that. And how is the connector looking? Super solid. Super solid. Let's clean up and look at the final result. I mean, I'm so used to working on microscopic connectors that when I deal with something so big, I feel overwhelmed. It's easier to work on bigger components, but because I'm used to working on smaller ones, I feel awkward when I solder big components. Because look at this, we have to move back and forth. The connector is big. I cannot see everything under the microscope. Well, I can if I have the Barlow lens, but I want to make sure that every pin is getting the proper amount of solder. And this doesn't happen when I'm farther away from the board, when I'm using a Barlow lens. Okay, and let's look at the final result awesome job awesome job i mean all those pins are going to be solid but i check them out anyway i do not want to ship this to the customer and have him reship it back to us because it's not working right now customer said that he wants the lbds connector replaced and that's what we did I also checked the inductors in the front here to make sure that nothing is blown and everything looks good. Of course, we do not know if there's anything else wrong with the board, but that's what the motherboard was sent here for. Very good. Awesome. Awesome. So that's what we did here. That's the connector that we soldered and job is done that's it i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video